Oh, now welcome back. Oh. For this video today, we could start to talk about React. Waiting React be how React will help our life. At the end of this video today, we now comfy understand waiting states be waiting props be life cycle, all those kind of things, hooks and all. And I'm gonna use slides to the show now. Waiting will be so that I'm gonna understand how React and all these things will they help our life for here. So I go like make we just see some kind of slides before we start today. Use React. So what's in be React? Well, React na uh, JavaScript library. Some people they call them framework. Um, but the Coco be say na library where we say we they use they build user interface with JavaScript. And the thing be say React na very powerful way where we feel they use they build application because React they help us they build single page application. And this single page application, now very, very fast application. Now application will be say if you click on, they're not going to find different resources. It will work instantly. It will pull all the resources with JavaScript sharp, sharp for inside your browser. So, so that now waiting single page application they do. And then again, React, they help us they build UI. Maybe say we feed the user over and over. Maybe say if you create a form or if you create a button, and if you they use that button every time, anywhere, for any code, for any project, and it could work exactly the same. Finally, React now also one of the most popular frameworks. I used to say I feel call them frameworks, but now waiting people they call them. I say now frameworks, but me, I they call them say now library. Now the most popular, and again, because React now Facebook make them, now Facebook they support them. So why you gonna need learn React? One of the major things we say over forty percent of the professional developers where they work with code, they they use React. That's why a lot of people like them. And again, if they make our JavaScript code easier, many say we're not gonna write many things where we suppose they do. React don't help us do them under the hood. React don't help us they do them from follow come from back come so that we're not gonna do all those things with our own JavaScript, right? And then if you look here again, you go see say React they use JSX. JSX now just like HTML, but now JavaScript where they use they do them. And if they help us they build interactive components, like web say in components web say if you click them, it could behave in a certain way. And of because it they flexible, so React developers we feel help them build up like a wrapper. We always call a wrapper. We they build on top of them. And then also for any modern day development, if you want modern development job, if you want job, we say they will pay you better money for this industry. You go need no React or at least a one kind JavaScript framework like Vue or Angular, all those kind of things. Now what you go need to learn be that. So here now, now just some kind of small syntax where I just want to show now the way React they even they work. For here, we they import our React components. That now what we they do. I don't show now to the import because now module. And then here we just import React DOM, which because because React, they always use their own, Re their own virtual DOM. That's why we, read this, we need this React DOM. So they always import them. And then for here also, we're going to need to also they write our function, which way to be the call for React, a component. And for here, we just they use this component. For here, we just they use for the root uh, ID. We just they enter our hello world component, which now our React component, we they put them for inside here. Okay? If you look at the previous video where I should give on a on a go see say we don't start to touch map, reduce, filter, all those kind of array methods, then they're very helpful for JavaScript. So make I just tell now some of them because you're gonna need no basic HTML, you're gonna need no basic CSS, and of course you're gonna need no basic uh, JavaScript. But you also need no all those callback, what's in the callback function, I other functions I don't explain given that go see you need know how to they use array strings and function methods, all those kind of things, so that you're not gonna write the algorithm all the time, and also if you want they they do operations on 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 top structure on top of your data structure you need know how to they run operations on top of on top how you go they do they manipulate arrays how you go they manipulate objects all those kinds of things you're gonna need to they learn them or at least just the basic self it could do of course you're gonna need to know the different types and values so that if you want to know what's in something they expect make you know if you know say something they expect string make you pass some string if you know say something they expect number also make you know they pass some boolean make it they pass some number right so you're gonna need to know all those kind of things. And of course, for JavaScript, now uh, our functions now first class citizens, right? If you don't know how, make you try, watch our other videos on top 
asynchronous code so all these topics for here i don't cover all these topics for past videos so if you don't know the video i could drop the link for now make gonna go check any of all these videos i could drop the playlist for now make gonna take le html css javascript from scratch no worry no long in two weeks you go don't finish you go don't learn all these things self and then you go feel come back this react video and start today and um, understand waiting react they help us to do for here and then if you look here you see say we get two types of components because if you notice i don't mention component components not just like html elements but did they render something did they show something then i'm waiting components b so because component go they render something and we feel they use them over and over it get two ways where we feel them the first one are the class components so the class component now just components we say you feel they see them for like stack overflow most most people now they use functional component but you go see see that code once in a while where they use class components but just not say class component day and functional component day and just not say class components you could use classes to the right term and it day a bit more i want to talk um it day a bit more complex to the work with so that's why many people know to the user you okay but if you look at the functional components you can see say we they write the same code for here we they write the same code nine with this but this is a the functional component and just one function and then of course you, you could just need to write them as this small code and passing your props and uh and anytime when you call this function you could just pass them in and it will work just like that okay so no need to do this this dot props dot name whereas here you could just use the structuring because you fit and then you could just fit put that code there now Waiting be props. And I go down the hear me they talk props, 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 props. No worry, you go understand when we started the right code, you go understand waiting be props. But just not say props just mean property. Okay, so because props now like property, props just be like arguments where they pass inside your function. And because we they work with uh, I don't show now say the class um the functional components just be like function, right? So because now function you could, you could just be like saying the arguments where they pass inside your function nine be the props where you won't pass into your functional component okay. every parent component if they pass information to in picking components just know say now so they work and so props they work if you want to do props you know if you put props for the picking come pass and go the parent or pass and go the parent elements or parent components you could need pass them from the parent components down reach the picking component okay if you do you suppose down like that now so data or now so information they pass for react and then if you check here you go see say the props now props will be they pass say we they use props they pass components like they use them like html elements and if you check here this code example for here you go see say i don't already create this functional component of footballer and then I just tell and say, make it they expect a prop. So make it just the way for the props. And then for here, I just return, I return this H2. Then at this uh, H2 text, we won't render. But I want to say my name is, and then whatever props go there inside here, whatever props we want, whatever element we want for these props, now we go get. Anytime when I render this football component, this football component, you go to expect this, this props. But whenever I take in these props, it go to give us the player or you go to give us the name where we they pass into here as props but if you look here this is not the child component so if you look here inside the parent component now here we won't come use i purposely put them down so that i go see say this is not the parent component where they down okay because for inside this parent component what we want to be say we won't call them the football team okay so this football team now now the parent component because you know say football are they inside football team so we could come put them say the football team now the parent component and because the football team now the parent component we can't the what i did do here say i just they put this um object where we work with we get this name we go to use them as props and then we just they pass them inside here all right so we just they pass them into this footballer component where they here so this is not just ordinary text so this is not the parent component we're going to render this text and then for inside here we just leave if they call footballer footballer and um this footballer component where they here we feel the column and then when we call this footballer component we go to see say we're going to get this player info we're going to pass this player info down at this object so anytime when we call this code it's going to give us the name leno Messi. so then are waiting props they help us they do for here another concept we're going to understand for react now states which be state for react or for programming self states now the way things something they behave like if something they on or if something they off for example state now follow come objects we say if they contain information or if they contain like i'm a ball about something you no know, being business boy go no i'm anytime when you need them you go forget that information from them then i wait to state b if you say if this state happen make it do something or if that state happen make something else make it happen another concept where we will look now hooks for react 
and hooks. Hooks are just like functions. We say that they let us hook into React State and Lifecycle. Then are waiting hooks they help us they do. So I don't really explain given I'm waiting um states B, but waiting lifecycle B. Lifecycle now just the uh, lifetime of component or how something got they show so if you get say when the screen don't load make something happen or when the screen don't load finish or when no load or when the screen off or when component mount or when component don't come out or when component did the screen or when component don't come off of the screen now all those things nine be the life cycle of your react component and every react component they always get life cycle they always get access to this life cycle object we have say we feel they use the run functions on top of then I'm waiting hooks be. So if you check out, you go see say hooks now just new introduction. Nobody say it's too new. You don't order it because now say if we don't they react 18. We know they react 16. But we say the history of hooks, we say hooks they just introduce them into React because uh people react react now growing in programming in all these languages that they always they grow, they always they evolve. So that's why React from React 16.8, we can't they can't introduce us to hooks. We can't start to use hooks and hooks they help us they write better, cleaner, faster. Mm, love the code. But but the team say, but now because of hooks, we feel the right state inside our functional component. So we're not going to the use class. In fact, for this video, I know they say when I go see myself, they use class. So and uh, class component. So we could start to use functional components from now on. And now because now waiting at the C and now waiting I like to do, and they're very easy for now to take understand how React they work. And again, hook no few work inside class. So make sure that no go come on. hook no they work for inside class. So anytime you want to use hooks, make sure say you know you know the inside the class component make sure say they're inside the functional components finally make i just tell them i say if you make your own hook so just know say if you get some rules maybe say if you do but if you make your own hooks so anytime when you get something maybe say you want to make a hook web say go to help you they fetch data from internet for example if you do if you want hook web say you want that web say anytime you call that hook you go to tell you something they own or something they off you go to call that hook you go to call them and you go to tell you if something they own and something they off so then now it's in hook they be so you get some kind of follow on hooks where you go follow react com and every react project from at least from this version up from this version uh 16.8 so we go use some of them but we're not going to use some of them and uh, if now want uh, learn more about them of again i go tell now me wanna go uh, the documentation i go drop link for now me gonna go the documentation and if you not like uh, all these kind of hooks or if you not want to learn one specific uh, hook me gonna let me know if i miss anyone and i'm gonna learn about some of them but for here we could just use maybe the we're gonna use the use state hook i'm gonna use uh, maybe like the use effect hook uh i'm not even sure about the other ones but we could just see which one we could use but the one we will go they mostly they use online now this uh use state hook and use effect hook uh you could also they see this use memo hook uh the use context we're not gonna touch them we're not gonna touch that one yet because that one i uh, get your own thing as b but the remaining i know to know so make we see how the video go go so so finally finally make we start to write some kind of code and again if you now want follow me for social media i did twitter i did instagram and i did facebook if you now want even just scan to subscribe for our youtube channel we're gonna scan we're gonna try to learn more about programming or about the internet or about these tech things for ninja pigeon english show but for now that's all we need to learn i'll see you now for the next video thank you